Reality-based training is one of the buzzwords in today's police training lexicon. One of our fundamental philosophies is that you don't change behavior writing in a binder. All of our courses are going to include hands-on, practical, reality-based activities. To bring to life what was taught in the classroom allows the students to change behavior do things differently when they hit the field. The challenge we had was how do we give police supervisors and responders a real life experience in a training setting? And hence came simulation-based training, giving them the opportunity to manage a scene in a training environment. To train that in the real world is very expensive and time costly. To do that in a training setting in a classroom saves money and also gives a better hands-on experience to the participants. Are you ready? Ready. 21 radio emergency. 21 go. 21 radio, my partner and I along with Unit 12 responded to Ritter Finance on Main Street. A man with a handgun took shots at Our training is designed to work for all of the emergency responders in a community. It addresses the team from the call takers at the beginning to the first responders to those supervisors who are responsible to solve the incident and then the management team that deals with the aftermath of the event as well. The decisions that are made or not made during those first 60 seconds of a critical incident will dramatically impact the numbers of casualties and the amount of property damage that will result. This course is dynamic, exciting, and we are taking you from the lessons and the simulations out into the real world. As soon as you leave the classroom, you can apply them out on the street. No, this is fantastic. Uh, you would think that you're just going playing with little cars. You're definitely not playing with the little cars. It's real, you're, you're really there on the scene. I feel more comfortable in, in incident command, and if I have to go somewhere, I feel like I can handle it no matter what. The BOMAC training is gonna prepare students for any kind of an incident, from a barricaded gunman, to a hazardous materials incident, to a civil disturbance. It gives them an all hazards approach to deal with whatever affects their communities. A coordinated, unified response will minimize the impact of that incident on our community. It's time to take action. Do not wait until after an incident to try and train. You need to train before the incident to improve your response. Over the years, the feedback we have received from students that have told us that had they not attended the training, they might have had a much worse scene. I don't think you'll find more important training on the market today. If your department isn't using simulation-based training, you're costing yourselves your best efforts and you're putting your community at risk. Time and again we hear from police officers, firefighters, EMTs, I wish I had this 20 years ago. Give it to your people today.